Wow, President Clinton, thank you so much to let me be part of that. I believe that it's like receiving an award also. And it's even better because uh, we don't have to look everybody, we are not going to, they are not going to steal mine. And we didn't pay to be there, so uh, it's really a rare honor to be able to express publicly before this group of world leaders my personal feelings and those of my country in presenting the esteemed Clinton Global Citizen Award in leadership in public service to such a great leader and statesman as President Leonel Fernandez of the Dominican Republic. President Fernandez, I speak from my heart, heart when I say that IT will never, can never forget your quick response following the devastating January 12th earthquake that shook my country, our country. As the first head of state to visit our devastated nation, you were on the ground before the tremors quieted in the spirit of true brotherhood. Yours were a humanitarian mission, not a political mission. You let IT know we were not alone. With sensitivity to our plight, you provided aid, workers, and funding without delay. You allow our country to become a staging ground for relief supplies, and you open your doors of your hospitals so injured Asian could be treated right away. My friend, your actions saved lives. But your good work did not stop here. You wasted no time in taking our message to the international community, Advo advocating for our recovery and reconstru reconstruction plan, communicating a resolve to build a new and better Haiti, and helping us along with President Clinton's tireless efforts to seek and seek out and obtain funding that will allow our vision to become a reality. Three successful conferences were organized in your country to motivate the donors to first understand the scale of the disaster, to support the design of the Asian vision, and finally to ensure a follow-up to the pledges. And that's how today, in such short time since the earthquake, more than 80% of the children who were attending school in Port-au-Prince before the quake are now back in school. 95% of the electricity and other utilities that were operating before the earthquake are restored. Our plans to decentralize Haiti are well on the way in new roadways in and to the interior of the country under the construction of completed and private investments away from the capital of Port-au-Prince are confirmed. A new teaching hospital is being built, new housing project providing homes for thousands of Asian families underway, and I might add creating jobs. In all, 29 key projects are currently underway and fully funded. And my friend, this, this we could not have been accomplished without the hard work and support of friends such as you. But perhaps the most remarkable initiative is your decision despite the limited financial capacity of your economy to, to build a new and modern university in the north of my country for a total investment of around $50 million to allow our youth to prepare for the new AT. we, you and me, and I hope everybody here are all dreaming of. Your personal friendship with my president, His Excellency René Preval, the last 12 years had allowed to dream of new dimensions in our bilateral relation but your personal commitment since the 12th of January for the relation of both of our country has no parallel in our respective histories. From your action and subsequently the support of all the Dominican population, 
we finally began to learn to live together and respect each other. It is therefore my very, very, very great honor, esteemed friend, to present to you on behalf of the Clinton Initiative this tribute to your commitment and actions to affect positive, lasting social change. And IT can certainly attest to that. Presidente.